Hello everyone, this is Shauna, and I'm coming to you today with another video. Um, this is a question from the classroom, and it regards how to find the values of delta in a diagram for a limit proof. So we're going to be looking at my graphs in decimals today, but you can also reproduce this on your calculator. So let me share my screen at this time. Now, to save us some time, I've already put some things in Desmos already. I don't have them on, which is why you're not seeing them on the screen. Um, but the question, as it was here, let me put it on the screen for you, was find the value of delta um, for epsilon equal to 0 0.2 and also for 0 0.1, okay? And what we were given was that we were given that uh, we were doing the limit as x approaches two of x cubed minus three x plus two as x approaches uh, four. So what we have, I'm sorry, as x approaches two. So first we begin by graphing the curve, which you can put your curve into y1 on your calculator if you're doing this and start by graphing your curve. Um, you'll have to play with the window some. Um, I played with my settings earlier and found that for the purposes of this exercise, um, let me show you my window setting here. So I found that for the purpose of this exercise, I used about negative 15 to 19. This is what Desmos gave me. The x-axis setting doesn't matter as much. The y-axis I have at about three to five. And that's because we're approaching the point two four because the limit as x approaches two of this curve is two four, and the point two four is on this uh, this curve, as you see. So we're approaching this point, and just for reference, we know that our limit is four because we're doing the limit as x approaches two of this function. Now, uh, we know that that limit is four. We wanna find values for delta. Remember, delta is on the x-axis. Um, we wanna find values for delta when epsilon is 0.2. So what that means is we wanna graph 0.2 above this green line, which would bring us if this is the line y equals four, 0.2 above it is the line y equals 4.2. So if you're on your graphing calculator, um, in y2, you can put y equals 4.2. And what we're interested in is the intersection point of the red curve, the graph, with this purple line 4.2, we wanna know what that X is first. So if you're using your graphing calculator, you can use, um, if it's a TI series, you can use second calc intersect and um, find the intersection of these two. On Desmos, you can click one of the graphs and then click the intersection point. Now, we're supposed to approximate it to four places, and this is only giving us three. So 
if you're on your calculator and you don't have enough um, decimal places, you can zoom in on uh, or you can trace with more places. On decimals, what you can do is zoom in and push around the point. So I'm going to push around this point here. And I'm going to continue to push in until I see more decimal places. There's four decimal places. So 2.0219 is what it's giving me for X. Now, keep in mind, this is not your delta. This is your X. So let me write us a note here. So um, when, when X, sorry, when Y was equal to 4.2, X was, and we can click, X is 2.0219 and 4.2. So X is, 2.0219. Now, we also need to find the one for 3.8. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm gonna turn on the line 3.8, which we're not gonna be able to see. So let me zoom out. 3.8 is going to be the line in black down below. So what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to uh, drag this. If I can here, maybe. So I'm looking at this point right here and I'm seeing that it's 1.977. 1 1.977 is my other curve. So when and when y is 3.8, 3.8, x is once again, 1.977. So this is 1.977. Now, to get your delta, what you're going to do is you want the smaller of the two differences. So I'm going to zoom out one more time and show something here. So my delta is along the x-axis. So I'm basically looking at the distance between, and it, you can't see it when you're um, so close to it, but basically you want to find the difference between the x's and your a value, which is two in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that delta is equal to either, this is going to be um, for 3.8, we're going to have one point, it's going to be the absolute value, because we don't want a negative number, the absolute value of the difference between one point 977 minus 2 or the absolute value of 2. Um, sorry 2 minus one, 
2.019 minus two, okay? 2.02, let me write it correctly, 0.219 minus two. And if you do the calculations, you'll discover that the smaller difference here is we want and we want take the smaller difference of the two. Remember, you're looking at the absolute value, so the fact that it's negative um, doesn't matter, but this 2.02 .02 is closer to two than this 1.977. So your difference, delta, equals 0. 219 if you take the the difference of the two and that's what this um, this difference is and then we're going to repeat the process but we're going to repeat it for epsilon equal to 0.1. So you're going to keep your curve. You're going to keep um, the line y equals 4. But instead of having 0.2 difference, we're going to have 0.1 difference. So we're going to have the line y equals 4.1. And we're going to have the line y equals 3.9. So essentially, what I've done is get closer to, to the limit. I don't know why that happened like that, but this should be um, 4.1, sorry. What we've essentially done now is get closer to the limit than we were before. Let me um, unlabel this point because I think we know that the blue one is 2.4, 2 comma 4. So now, what you'll see here is that my point is now 2.011. And once again, I'm going to zoom in so we can get a closer look at it. Um, still, let's see, two point, okay, keep going. And my point here, I'm gonna have to drag it so I can see it. Let's do but okay, I might have to adjust the window, but let's see. Um we have yeah. So we're gonna go inside. Going to drag this, not the point, but the window here. There it is, 2.011, 4.1. And I can continue to push in here and till I get. Um, in our decimal places, 2.003 and 4.1. And again, And that's about as good as it's going to get, I think. Um, 
we're at 2.011. So our X here, at 4.1 is 2.011. You can continue to push in there, 2.011. And I'm going to repeat the process for 3.8 which, uh, sorry, 3.9, which is my black line here, and I'm getting 1.989. So 1.989, and again, I'm going to use just my calculator. So the absolute value, delta, whoops, delta, is the absolute value of the difference, the x minus my a. So this is 1.989, 1. Let me uh, push in a bit and drag the picture so that we can go in further here. Zoom in to it. And we're looking at, okay, yeah, this is 1.9889. Well, one point, yeah, 1.9888. Eight. So one point nine eight 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 minus two and or it's the absolute value of The other number, which we said was 2.011 minus 2. And that is actually a little bit smaller. So your difference here, your smaller difference if we're taking the absolute value, comes out to approximately, to four decimal places, the smaller delta. So once again, we take the smaller difference and we get delta equals to 0 0.110. to uh, point zero, actually, I said it, but I didn't write it. There we go, zero, one, one, zero. And that is your delta. So our two answers were for um, delta equal to point zero two, we have, 0 0.0219 and we have 0 0.0219 and we have 0 0.0110. So I hope that helps you and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you folks. Bye for now.